But now it is time to welcome our guest co-host, asking them questions like, should journalists be content creators and should news outlets be using multi-layered multimedia platforms? Well, to answer all of those questions and more, please join me in welcoming uh, Michael Jabri Pickett, Editor-in-Chief at Khalij Times. Michael, it's so nice to have you back on the show. Thank you, I appreciate it. So I love what Khalij Times has been doing with uh, KT Plus. Um, what was the inspiration behind starting that? So the traditional accusation that we got was that you are a newspaper and we are the UAE's first English newspaper, but we weren't doing enough, the advertisers felt, to appeal to the younger audience. So we thought, younger audience today, they want their content in short video format. So we thought we needed to create something that would appeal to them. And we wanted something that was also something that was attractive. And I think the editing that we do, and I think the uh, hosts that we have, the presenters, I think it uh, checks all the boxes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you haven't seen this, KT Plus is uh, it's, an, it's an account, right, for Hadith Times. It's geared towards the younger generation. It's reels, short form videos. And I love the fact that you have uh, different presenters like Joanna, who does cars. Uh, you have Jasmine, who does sort of social stuff. Uh, is that how you've tried to section it? Yeah, what we want to do is, because social media travels around the world, we want to make sure that we're breaking down stereotypes. And when you can see a woman in the Arab world, an Arab woman in the Arab world, talking about something that in the Arab world might not traditionally happen. We think that we're contributing to that conversation to see, for people in the West especially, to see the Arab world in a different way. So Ma yes. Michael, with your many years of experience in the field, I mean, back in the day, journalists just had to give their unbiased coverage with integrity. But today, there's definitely a lot more focus when it comes to being more animated. You need to dance and lip sync on TikTok, be so much more animated. Is that, is that easier for you or do you sometimes struggle to cope with, you know, the new trends th that are there today? Well, I'm fortunate that it's easy for me because I have lots of young people in my newsroom who are able to do that. But what we've recognized is that if we're going to tell good stories about uh, people who live in the UAE, we have to appeal to everybody who lives in the UAE. Different demographics uh, will consume their content in different ways. So some people still, if you can believe it, uh, and thankfully they still do, but still like their news through newspapers. And some people will come to the website. But then we've also recognized that some people will come to KT Plus, and some people will come to just our TikTok account, and some just Instagram, some just LinkedIn. So you have to recognize that you have not just a news brand, you now have so many different platforms and you have different audiences on those platforms. So if we're going to be successful, we have to find the journalists who are comfortable maybe just doing the writing and others who are maybe comfortable doing a little bit on TikTok. So you mentioned there how you're moving forward with the times and you're using different applications to deliver the news, but do you worry that constantly moving forward, you might eradicate like the traditional way to present news? So I don't think so because our job is to tell good stories and I think that storytelling will always happen. The process of telling good stories will continue, but I think the ultimate vehicle, how those stories appear to the public, that will probably change. And I, I'll give you an example. WhatsApp channel is quite popular. Uh, we have more than 430,000 followers. Some people will only follow us through that. And that's probably the most recent, I, I guess you could call it social media, uh, but that's probably the most recent technological advance when we when it comes to us sharing our stories so as long as we're always aware of how people are consuming news i think we'll be okay and speaking of those technological advancements is there anything else you're looking to implement like artificial intelligence virtual reality anything like that so i think nowadays you have to be aware of everything that's going on all the technology we've had companies come in and demonstrate avatars for us and what that means is that the reporter would write the story and then if you were to take a step back, they would have spent probably about six hours in the studio being filmed in so many different ways. And then that story that they wrote would be told, well, they would be telling it through their avatar. And all you would need is the text and it would go in and then it would be Michael, Michael's avatar presenting the news as though I had written it. There are some real concerns though about that, what happens to the avatar, how people can use it. So. I think, much like we'll talk about today, there are lots of ideas, but then how is it that we make sure that everybody is safeguarded? 
Absolutely. Definitely. Well, Michael, thank you so much for your insight. You're going to be staying with us throughout the episode and carrying on the conversation. But right now, we're going to find out who tonight's performer is. Hey, guys, we're eight times two. We're going to be performing our original song, Smooth. Stay tuned till the end of the show to watch us perform.